Do you guys love Christmas caroling? I do. I have so many memories from over the years of Christmas caroling. I think the earliest memories are really from my high school choir. We had a ton of Christmas music that we had prepared in four-part harmony because we would sing all over town. Um, we would sing for community organizations and private parties and things like that. And so we all had the, everything memorized. Our teacher was super big on memorizing. So it was great because we could just then get up in Christmas Carol wherever. And so sometimes we'd all be hanging out on a Friday night when we didn't have a gig during Christmas and be like, hey, let's go Christmas Carol in this neighborhood. And one fun thing is that we, are very, very like music nerdish, we had figured out that um, certain people's car horns were certain pitches because we always had, a, we often had a pitch pipe with us, but if we didn't, we could then count on the person's car horn. We're like, oh, I know that one's an F. So we can figure out, you know, the notes that we needed to start a song. So that was cool because it made it such that we could Christmas carol pretty much anywhere, anytime. Of course, this is way before we had cell phones that had pitch pipe apps and things like that. So, you know, very old school, but very fun. Another time I was Christmas caroling with our family in my in-laws neighborhood and because we were just kind of Christmas caroling around a lot of people in our family are musically inclined so we could sing in parts and stuff and we went to this one house and you know I think it was a Korean lady she was super nice and she really enjoyed it and she's like oh wait hold on she didn't want us to leave so we thought she was gonna go get us cookies or something she came back with bath towels because apparently in her culture that's what you give people when they come to your door and they, you know, you enjoy what they did. You give them bath towels. So, you know, we didn't want to be like, oh no, no thing. You know, we wanted to be gracious, but we're like, oh my gosh, she just gave us two bath towels. That's a little weird. Um, so that's definitely a memory that I have. And then I think the next best memory that I have, uh, we would always go with our church and stuff, but um, a couple years ago, we decided to go to an old folks home in our town. And um, our family, just the four of us, were Christmas caroling. And we could also sing in parts because my husband and I know all the parts. And my daughters can now hold the melody. So we were singing in three parts. And we went from a few different rooms. And we went in the common area. And we were able to sing for them. And some of them like had requests. And we were able to do that. And not only did the people really love it, but actually... Our family really enjoyed it too. And my younger daughter, Abby, was like, that was awesome, let's do that again. So unfortunately, because of COVID, we weren't able to do it last year, but I really hope that we can find a way to do it this year, even if it's outside, because it really is a great experience. And music really does bless people. So you guys remember how much your music really does bless people, especially those that don't have musical talents. They appreciate it way more than you realize, especially at Christmas time.